What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here. We're going to need much better than our last at-bat last time. Currently 4 for 80 is the score. And yes, yes, Shah is in. We've got Dwayne Bravo down the other end. Uh, so we'll just be looking to try and pick ourselves up some boundaries, which is what we lacked last time around. And that is just the perfect start, boys. You can't ask for much more than that. Big time four from Cliff to get off the mark. And we'll be looking to make a big impact here. We only picked up the one wicket last time. Um, and I think, yeah, we went for... I think it was 12 that we got off our... I think we went for 12 off our overs. Back-to-back -back boundaries, boys. And uh, this is a completely different cliff than we saw last time around. That one there beating uh, Asher... Uh, no, Shafiq. We're not quite sure of his... Uh, first name, but beating Shafiq. This one here has been nudged out. Again, well, not quite the timing that we've had on the last couple. Still going to come back for two. Ten off our first three balls. Ten off three. That's incredible. That's a great start. Where was that last time around? Elton Chicken Bora coming in. Playing, that is an incredible amount of 2020 matches that he has played. I think this is number 207, would you believe? Um, so that is a very, very impressive amount. But uh, we've got a bit of medium pace on here now. Ooh, and a direct hit sure would have been close actually um, I think possibly we could have been gone but not the case we have managed to sneak through and we're hitting two I talk quite a lot about uh, 2020 cricket and you know just pass scores at certain stages of the game and I mean this situation here is not ideal losing uh, four wickets but Heading into the 12 over mark, I reckon if you're at about 100 runs, you're in for a very good shot at the last... You know, if you're at 100, I think off the last 8 overs, you can quite easily get 60 to 80 runs. So, um, oh god, the timing's completely gone, and a direct hit would have seen Bravo well short of his crease. But we're continuing to play aggressive, which is what we have done so far, and our fellow countryman, Corey Anderson, now going to be bowling to us. Still 13 off 6, we're getting the job done. Bravo surprisingly 22 off just, oh god, we can't, we can't hit the gaps to save ourselves now. I was going to come back for a cheeky second there, but we won't. Now, Champions Trophy has started. Um, first game was last night. I will get into that probably in the bowling innings uh, with the game between Bangladesh and uh, England. Surely that's got to be... Oh, it's just the one for the over. I was going to say, surely that's got to be a wide or something. But um, the runs really have dried up here, it must be said. Uh, compared to that aggressive, great start we got off to off Yasir Shah. Now we just can't seem to quite just pick the gaps or do anything, really, which is a shame. You know, we want to go. We want to get in and get the job done. Umar Gal coming in now. He has been expensive today. Boy, oh boy. Two for 27 off his two overs. Bravo still in. We're 15 off nine, so we've slowed down. Uh, it must be said, just a touch. And I think that's just due to the fact that we just... I don't know. You know, those first three balls we really got going. We hit the gaps. It was easy pickings. Not the case now. And we have really struggled a little bit. I think if we can get... If it's on the pads, instead of trying to go uh, more square, if we can try and flick through uh, mid-wicket, I think is where our options are going to be. But I mean, even that. You know, that just hasn't gone into a gap. It's gone straight to the fielder, which has been the story, or well, the story of the second half of the innings, it must be said. Nathan McCullum coming in now. Again, just a, a T20 veteran, it must be said, uh, with that many games. And I think this is the guy that we just need to target. We need to go down the ground. They've left that space open, and I think we need to push the score along quite nicely here. We've got 2.5 overs left to go. 149, let's say 150 on the board. If we can get up around, I think, 170, uh, then we will be fairly happy. But I'm just going to continue to bludgeon you down the ground, Mr. Nathan McCullum. I know you are a fellow countryman, um, <clears throat> you know, ex-teammate. Not that I've made the New Zealand side yet, but uh, I am just going to keep going down the ground where possible. Oh, my God, he's put in a... No! Oh, and he's dropped it, would you believe? And we might even... Uh, actually, no, we'll just... No, nah, you know what? We're coming back for three. We are coming back for three. That should have been out. Instead, we have gone, picked up three runs. That is absolutely beautiful. We move on to 28 off 14. I'm kind of hoping that Nathan McCullum does have one more over left in him, uh, just to try and get something. But Bravo, after struggling early... Uh, has really come back, we won't take a run there, we don't want to run Bravo out, is now 72 of 49, so it's hard to keep a good man down. 168 on the board, uh, with one over and a little bit of change left to go. 
And we're just going to nudge that one away. <clears throat> Give Bravo the last ball of this Yes Yes Shah over. And this has been, uh, this is our best at bat in a 2020 innings uh, in our whole career. This is our new top scorer, I believe. And uh, it is Nathan McCullum. Unusual field that we've got here. We've got a straight on, we've got a deep forward mid wicket, a deep extra cover, and a deep backward point. So you're guessing it's going to be on the offside. Anything on the pads. Oh, God, get back. Whew, I was going to say direct hit and he'll be gone. Anything on the pads, uh, like that ball there. I, no, I mean, now they've got deep square leg back. Extra cover, deep extra cover. I have no idea where to go. All of a sudden, just plunging it, plunging it, bludgering it down the ground. That option is gone with that straight off that's there. We've done the right thing, though. We've got Bravo on strike, and I don't think we have faced any further balls in the innings. Either that or my game has just frozen. Which it may, it may have done, actually. That's going to be very disappointing if that is the case. You've got to be kidding me. The game has just frozen. Oh, that is absolute crap. That is absolute crap. But we've had a good at-bat. I don't want to lose that. So we will just finish things off there. I'm real disappointed. I don't know why this is frozen. It's not my PlayStation. It's just the game. It is just the game that is come. Oh no, hang on, we got something. We got something. Okay. Never fear. The old go into the menu has helped things out. We're in. Alright, we're going to skip through to the 11th over. And uh, as you can see, 14 matches, 11 wickets. So we're going to look to try and improve on that uh, just a little bit. And this is a good start that they have got off to. Still, the required rate is just below 10. Um, so we will be pretty confident with that, especially picking up Ms. Bello Huck. He was our last wicket in the last game. So our best at bat so far, I think we scored uh, 30 runs off, I think it was about 18 deliveries. So we definitely got the job done. Uh, really took apart the spinners, which is good. That's what I want to see us doing. But uh, I did say in the batting innings we were going to talk about the Champions Trophy, which has started. Um, started last night in New Zealand, uh, overnight. And the hosts, England, took on Bangladesh. Now, Bangladesh batting first. I think they, score, they scored 300 plus, and that was on the back of uh, Tammy Iqbal. I believe his ninth one-day 100 that he scored. He scored 123. I think um, Rahim? No, I always get this wrong. I always say Rahman. I'm pretty sure it's Mishbika Rahim. Uh, the wicket... Uh, I'm pretty sure he's wicket-keeping. Um, but the wicket-keeper, the, he's the test captain. I was going to say uh, Mortaza is the, the one-day captain. But uh, he got a 72, propelled them up over 300. It wasn't enough, though. England getting there, I think, with eight balls remaining. And that is actually, that's gone taking the outside edge from Shafiq. Didn't quite carry to the keeper, just a very fine edge. But, um, yeah, nowhere near enough. Uh, and we did have this discussion a wee bit earlier on that maybe 350 is going to be par for this tournament. Um, just because, I mean, 300 was chased down fairly comfortably. Just two wickets uh, lost which was Jason Roy very early on. It'll be interesting to see what does happen with him um, in this tournament because he has been struggling for form as of late. Um, Alex Hales hit 95, I think, then he was out, so unlucky to miss out on that ton. And Joe Root, the test captain. Uh, you know, this the the guy is an absolute incredible batter. I think 133 he scored. The backbone of the side, obviously, almost scoring uh, half of England's runs. And just... An absolute incredible effort by him, it must be said, uh, to see the side home. And we're getting a, uh, there's just a little bit of swing, it must be said, into this game so far. Not a whole lot, just a touch. But, um, I, you know, I'm happy with that. I'll take that. And that's going to be, I was going to say, they probably could come back for two. Because there's only that man out on the boundary on that leg side with that wee bunt down the ground. But, um, yeah, 350, I think... You know, three. You say three fifty. I think that's gonna not be par. I think that's gonna be a very competitive score. I think anywhere around probably the three twenty, three thirty. The pitches that have been prepared do seem to be very batter friendly. Um, and I mean, with twenty twenty cricket and all of that going around the world at the moment, you know, there's a lot of good batters going around in teams. I mean, Martin Guptill hit an amazing hundred in a warm up game against Sri Lanka. When New, Ze New Zealand chased down, they chased down about three sixty, and they. There was something crazy like almost four overs left to go and six wickets left in the bag. I know it's only a tour match, uh, sorry, a warm-up match, but still, that is absolutely incredible to chase that down. Such a big total, you know, mentally, that's got to be hard 
for a batting side to, you know, have to go out and essentially score at almost, I think it's about six and a half and over from the get-go. What the hell? We lost that game. We've lost two on the trot now. We only bowled two overs. We only went for six runs, and they didn't bring us back. We finished with 30 not out of 18 deliveries, just the two overs. I'm going to have to have a chat to Azura Ali, mate. When I was the captain, I was bowling my four overs, and we were winning. We've now lost two on the trot, and things not looking good. Bravo, man, a match with that 85 off 54, a great innings by him. But, yeah, two losses in a row for the four, which is not looking good heading into uh, the latter stages of the season. I'm not too sure how many games we have left, but there can't be too many. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. If you have enjoyed this video, remember to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and uh, until next time, I've only got my orange juice here today. No LMP in the house. Ka kite anoa. See you soon.